It's time for kickoff on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here comes a right foot cross to the top of the six. Volley it in! The Cougs score again! Cameron Tucker expands the lead. Live play-by-play coverage of BYU women's soccer is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. Brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. Now for today's call, here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Good afternoon, BYU soccer fans. Welcome Pitchside Inside South Field on the BYU campus in Provo, Utah for a midweek crosstown showdown between the 17th-ranked BYU Cougars and the Wolverines of Utah Valley University. Sixth all-time meeting in a local series that BYU owns by a five-games-to-none margin. I'm your play-by-play presenter, Greg Grubel, on a pleasant day in Provo. Far cry from our weather on the weekend when it was uh, cold and snowy for the Cougars' Southfield debut. A game BYU led 1-0 before falling 2-1 to Santa Clara in a crucial contest relative to the West Coast Conference crown. That setback certainly putting a dent in the Cougars' WCC title hopes, but uh, BYU remains a ranked team and on pace for an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament. And in my pre-match interview with Coach Jennifer Rockwood, brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. The coach talked about the need to get back on track today before league play resumes on the weekend. I think we need to uh, really kind of bounce back. Um, you know, our, our loss to Santa Clara it kind of hurt. It was a stinger for sure. Um, but I think this team believes in themselves and knows that we just have to jump back up and uh, get out there again. And luckily we don't have to wait a whole week. We get to play um, right away. Um, and UVU is always a challenge for us. You know, they always seem to have our number and get up for us. And, and they're doing a good job this year. So, you know, we just got to keep doing what we're doing. I, we did some really good things in our last game. We just didn't put it away. And so hopefully, you know, against UVU, we can come out, get a strong start, score some goals early, and uh, take control of the game. There's always plenty of familiarity, too, when you when you have teams like this that uh, have a lot of players from the Valley. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a lot of girls. You know, no, I know most of the girls for sure. Um, from their time at youth players, a lot of them are from Utah. So uh, these girls know each other and they compete each, against each other. You usually get the best battles against friends. So I'm sure it'll be a great battle. Um, you know, they, it was a, a tough challenge for us last year. We had to play with yeah. a man down. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. And, and one towards the very end with a, a Danica, a center back, scoring yeah. a, the winning great goal. goal. So, yeah. uh, you know, it was a tough game for us. Um, but I think the girls have, uh, you know, I, I think they'll show up and I think we'll see even more energy uh, against these guys this is a non-conference game then you're right back into league on the weekend and a lot of things can happen in conference Uh, you have a loss but we've seen things come down to the final weekend it's just basically every game is a must win for you now in league yeah for sure Uh, you know it always comes down to a a tie or a loss there's not many over the over the years not too many teams have got undefeated so um you know we just hope that we can go out and win out and uh, you know maybe santa clara gets tripped up along the way so still want to hope for that championship but we got lots of work to do between now and then are there any things or numbers you're looking at right now that demand some attention uh, well, I think against Santa Clara, we, we kind of got the first goal early and then kind of faded and let them kind of get back into the game again. And you just got to you just got to learn how to put teams away, I think. And especially the second half, we had the ball a lot, uh, but we just didn't have that killer instinct to really put things away. And I think Santa Clara basically looked like they wanted it a little bit more. And a lot of it, that, it comes down to that. And I think that's a good lesson that we could learn. And they were celebrating pretty hard on our field um, because... You know, it's been a long time since they've won a conference championship and yeah. won here. So uh, there's a lot riding on it. And uh, we have 11, 12 new girls on our team that maybe didn't realize the impact of a, a game like this. So we've, we've got some learning to do all, all the way around and, and take things and get up for these games and, and know that you can't just show up and walk on the field. you you got to get it done. Okay, Jen, thank you. We'll talk to you uh, post-match. Good okay. luck. All right, thanks. All right, that's BYU head coach Jennifer Rockwood. And time now for today's mutual match starting lineups as we get ready to play BYU and UVU. Brought to you by Mutual, the dating app. For Coach Chris LeMay, he'll be in a 4-3-3. Isabel Jones-Daw in goal. Grace Beeston, Jenna Shepard, Sydney Bushman, Heather Stainbrook across the back. The midfield, Brianna Eves, Amber Tripp, London Miller. Up top, Nicole Ray, Sadie Brockbank, and Juliana Carter. For BYU, they go with Cassidy Smith in goal. We'll get you the rest of BYU starting 11 as that is the opening whistle. And we are underway here at Southfield. On BYU's back line, left to right, Jellilich, Hale, Johnson, and Smith. And BYU controls on the back line. The midfield, Jamie Shepard at holding mid. Michaela Coulihan at attacking center mid. 
Left wing, Bella Foligno. Right wing, Olivia Wade. And up top, McKaylee Call and Cam Tucker. Starting 11 for both teams. We're in the opening moment of play. BYU and UVU. BYU in white jerseys, royal blue shorts, and white socks. UVU in the road blacks with green letters and numerals. Ball knocked out on the near touchline, and it'll be a BYU throw. Josie Jellilich will do the honors for BYU. Actually, they called a foul before it got to the touchline and a restart on the free kick. The first foul of the match whistled against UVU. Jellilich controls down the left flank. She's pressured there by Sadie Brockbank. Gets her out, Brockbank to the corner, and the ball kept in on the end line. Josie wanted a corner, saying it was over the goal line, but... Referee didn't see it that way, and UVU now begins a counter with Brockbank coming down the right wing. Played it centrally and gave it away to Jamie Shepard. Jamie Shepard's sister, Jenna, plays on the Utah Valley back line. Cooks possess from the back. Long ball, direct and long for Felino. Felino controls at the end line, keeps it in play. Circles back toward the left side of the penalty area. Gets into the 18, trying to tee it up to her right foot. Still on the dribble and ends up laying off for Jamie Shepard. Shepard's going to play to the overlapper, Jelilich, down the left wing. Josie tried to cross it past the body of Brockbank. Brockbank got back to defend Jelilich, who wheels away from Brockbank and tries to position for a cross and ends it up. Josie does playing it off of Brockbank for our first Mountain America Credit Union corner kick of the match. Brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union guiding you forward. We're in the second minute, BYU and UVU. And the Kooks get, Kooks get the first good look here with a corner from the attacking left flag. And Bella Felino will take it. Bella with five goals in just seven shots on goal this year. Felino drops her left arm. It'll be a right-footed in-swinger. High and to the far side of the area. Volleyed out by UVU. But sent back in by Olivia Smith. Ends up with a clean catch by the keeper, Isabel jones Da, the Gonzaga transfer. Time now for identification of the top players. BYU will be looking to cover today. It's brought to you by Intermountain Pool Covers. Safety and quality you can depend on. And today we're focusing on a pair of four-goal forwards. Juniors Sadie Brockbank and Juliana Carter. They've accounted for eight of UVU's 17 goals this season. They've added three assists between the two of them. Brockbank and Carter, the two top scorers for the Cougars to cover today. It's brought to you by Intermountain Pool Covers. Michaela Coulihan slots a ball too heavy for Bella Folino. Shepard, Jenna Shepard, the UVU Shepard, is back to play the keeper, and the keeper blasts it into touch. So it'll be a BYU throw-in on the near touch line. We're in the fourth minute. BYU in Utah Valley here at Southfield. Clouds have cleared, and while they still are surrounding the pitch, the large swath of sky is sunny right now. So you can see cl clouds all about, but there's sunshine and shadows here at Southfield. Hale played it to call. She was dispossessed, and the Wolverines blast away into the Cougars' defensive half, and tracking it down there is Grace Johnson. BYU center back plays to her holding mid, Jamie Shepard. Shepard is pressured by Amber Tripp, and the U-turn by Shepard Causes Tripp to stumble and fall. The crowd reacts as Shepard takes it into the attacking half and plays a short ball to Michaela Coulihan. There's a 30-yard shot from Coulihan and a goal to open the scoring for BYU. A drive from near 30. The right-footed shot from Michaela Coulihan in the fourth, and BYU opens the scoring. What a blast from Kayla. And for Michaela Coulihan, that is her 30th of her BYU career, sixth on this year to lead all BYU scorers, and uh, was that needed? I'll tell you, the Cougars not shy in practice this week about getting their shots in as uh, they've been shooting, but not with uh, a great effectiveness percentage-wise in terms of shots on goal. But that was an early shot on frame and a blast to the left post. Cougs open 1-0, just 3.43 into this match. So in the fourth minute, Michaela Coulihan for the 30th time as a Cougar, and BYU's up by a score of 1-0. Coulihan now possesses at the halfway line. The assist to Jamie Shepard. For Jamie, her second assist on this year. Cougars down the right wing. Olivia Wade tries to get across. It's flicked on by Call and wide right. So the header flicked by Call. I was at Tucker that time. Just, just shade wide right of the net. And a goal kick for Utah Valley here in the fifth. Some pressure from Tucker. Wolverines play from the back line. This is the sixth game between BYU and UVU. BYU now ten goals for and one against in the uh, combined series scoreline against the Wolverines. Wolverines backlining it with Grace Beeston. Beeston plays ahead to London Miller. 
Miller lays off Jenna Shepard. Shepard plays long and direct for Juliana Carter. Trip also in the neighborhood. Brooke Hale plays away over the head of Miller to the boot of Jelilich and a layoff to Felino. BYU playing on the left side of the pitch right now. Brooke Hale, Grace Johnson. UBU's a team that favors high pressure, put a lot of heat on you when you've got the ball on your back line. And pressuring there was Sadie Brockbank. Cougars released to midfield. Wade to the overlap for Olivia Smith. So Olivia Wade to Olivia Smith. And Olivia races down the right flank. Green grass in front of her. Olivia Smith crossing toward Coolahan. Pass intercepted and played away by the Wolverines. Nicole Ray on the wing left. A 1-2. Comes centrally to Brianna Eves. Eves ahead to Amber Tripp. UBU now. Passing the halfway line with the ball to Miller. London Miller stops. Reverses her path. Comes lateral. And gave it away on the back line to Grace Johnson. Johnson, Jelilich, Shepard, Hale. Brooke Hale at center back. Plays to the center circle. Too heavy for Michaela Coulihan. And the Wolverines play to their back line with Sydney Bushman tracking down. Pressure from Cam Tucker. The ball comes centrally to Jenna Shepard. Jenna Shepard, sister of Jamie. Plays to the center circle. McKaylee Call with the intercept to the touch line. She's tripped up at the far sideline. And they will say foul or throw in. Foul as Call was upended. So it's a restart for BYU. And foul number three for Utah Valley. BYU's yet to foul in this match. BYU won. Utah Valley no score. Seventh minute with Michaela Coulihan scoring in the fourth. Josie Jelilich. Straight away to Jamie Shepard. Shepard back lines it to Johnson. Johnson and Hale, the center backs, combine to the halfway line. Brooke Hale, a hot ball to Jelilich. She settles it, gets past London Miller. Comes centrally. The pass to Coulihan is picked off by Stainbrook. Stainbrook ahead to Eves. Eves at the halfway line. Eves into the attacking half. Just gave it right away to BYU's back line. The pass directly to Grace Johnson. What a waste there. Shepard past the halfway line. Slows her progress. Plays on the flank to Olivia Wade. Olivia Wade. Lateral ball, Tucker. A 1-2 layoff to Coulihan. Got away from Kayla. She toe pokes it to safety at the halfway line to Grace Johnson. Johnson at 50 yards, and she gave the ball away. Soft passes getting picked off here. Eves slides to a ball in a battle with Jelilich. The ricochet goes to Felino. Felino clears some space and plays back to Jelilich at left back. Holding mid, Shepard, and now back line, Johnson and Hale as the Cougars play in a square at the halfway line. Hale and Johnson in the eighth minute. BYU won, Utah Valley no score. Michaela Coulihan, sixth goal of the year to lead BYU. And again, 30 career goals now for Kayla. Wide right, Olivia Wade. Olivia Wade takes her defender 1v1. Gets into the area, getting it to her left boot. Still rolling it, rolling it, shooting, and a blocked shot from the top to Wade. Reflects to Felino. Felino's shot. Prompts a diving save from Isabel jones Daw. jones Daw diving to her left to parry the ball wide. It ends up in a BYU corner kick, another Mountain America Credit Union corner kick. Brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, guiding you forward. It'll be an attacking right corner flag. Olivia Wade will take it in the ninth minute. BYU won, and UVU no score on the Michaela Coulihan goal. And Wade plays short to the runner-up Smith. The cross comes to the top of the sixth and played clear by UVU. BYU won nothing on our first doTERRA goal of the game. doTERRA sponsoring every BYU goal this year, and that's goal number 20 for the Cougs. 20 goals for, 12 goals against this year as the Cougars play wide right across from Olivia Wade. Maybe a bit of a deflection. Comes deeper into the six as a result, and it's caught by Jones Daw. She releases to London Miller. London Miller, taken on Jelilich, plays it ahead to Stainbrook. Heather Stainbrook in the midfield for UVU. Black uniforms for UVU, white and royal for BYU. The keeper kit for Cassidy Smith is all royal, and she plays the back pass from her back line. The UVU keeper kit is all Highlighter green, chesting down a long ball in the midfield is Olivia Wade. Plays a central ball to Jamie Shepard. Shepard approaches the halfway line. BYU 1, UBU 0 in the 10th. Felino with her back to goal, 40 yards away. Lays off to the halfway line all the way to BYU's back line. Hale, a nice deke around trip and plays the ball to Felino. Felino U-turns and lays off Hale at midfield. Brooke Hale gave the ball away. On a bad touch just in the attacking half. The Cougars get it back with Jamie Shepard. Shepard keeps it on the floor to Felino. Felino to Call. Call is upended. Play on. And the uh, Wolverines clear 
to the neutral third. Tracking back is Brooke Hale to collect for BYU. Cougars and Wolverines in the 10th. BYU won, and UVU no score on the Michaela Coulihan goal coming in the fourth. And it was a ripped shot from a good 25 yards. Top of the penalty arc inside the left post. Facing goal, Tucker. Tucker, head of steam. Gives to call. Flag is up offside. So the first offside flag of the match goes against BYU. And it'll be a goal kick for Utah Valley here in the 11th. Yes, coming in two today, BYU is 19 goals with 12 against. That now goes to 20 and 12. And the Cougars really wanting to work on their shots on goal percentage. Coming in two today, just 13.5. Rather, beg your pardon, just... 39% 39% of their shots were finding frame. Opponents at 51% of their shots becoming shots on goal. And BYU so far in this one. Of five shots, three on goal. So an improvement there. A giveaway in the Cougar attacking half. Wolverine, some of the dispossess. Eves, Miller, Miller. Centrally to Trip. Trip. Wheels away from Johnson. Wide right to Juliana Carter. Carter plays it centrally, gave it away to Hale. Hale just gets rid of it into the Cougars' attacking half. McKaylee Call gives chase, and so too does Grace Beeston. Beeston with a back pass to the keeper. Keeper finds Jenna Shepard, and Shepard finds her backline mate, Sydney Bushman. Bushman on the wing left, collected there by Nicole Ray. Ray bumped into by Olivia Wade, into touch for a UVU throw. So Bushman will throw on the far touchline. Wolverines chest down. They're in BYU's defensive half right now. Amber Tripp, 40 yards from goal. Plays ahead for a 1-2 layoff to Eves. Eves on the right wing to Juliana Carter. Carter coming in from the right flank. Plays a 20-yard pass to Stainbrook. Stainbrook pressured there by Coulihan. Gives to Carter on the right wing. Trying to get in a posi- position for a right-footed cross. She stumbles and falls. Ball last touch by Carter out into touch over the end line for a BYU goal kick. The Cougs will take here in the 12th. So UVU without a shot yet. BYU five shots, three on frame, and a goal leading 1-0 as we are in the 13th. Both fouls in this match go against UVU. Both corners so far for BYU. Jamie Shepard, the assist on the Michaela Coulihan marker. Grace Johnson down the right wing to Olivia Smith on the right back overlap for Olivia. Gets a right-footed cross, headed clear by Bushman, and now out by the Wolverines. Nicole Ray tracks down. Intercepted there. Dispossessed by Call. The 1-2 back to McKaylee on the right side of the area. Tees up for a right-footed cross, headed by Foligno toward goal on the cross by Smith and caught cleanly by Isabel Jones-Daw, the Wolverines goalkeeper. We're in the 13th minute. Wolverines now build from the back with Grace Beeston coming from right back. They move Nicole Ray from a left forward to a left back position for today's game. Normally we see Gray up front. We see her on the back line today. The Cougars now on their back line. Shepard at holding mid. Back to Hale. Left to Jelilich. Return to Hale and then Hale just plays right into touch, just kicked it out of bounds on a simple pass return to Jelilich. Off the throw in, UVU toward the top of the 18. Stainbrook lofts the ball toward keeper, nothing doing there. So not much threat being mounted by the visitors, but BYU could uh, be a little cleaner with their passes. Johnson. Too heavy for Wade. Wade gives chase, though. Well done to regain the ball for BYU. Olivia Wade coming down the spine of the field. Olivia Wade putting it to her left. Toe poking a pass that goes all the way to the keeper. So nice build up there, but nothing at the end of it. As McKaylee Call was nowhere near that toe poke pass from Olivia Wade. Olivia will be our halftime interview today. We're in the 14th minute. BYU and Utah Valley. Cougs 1-0 over UVU. Michaela Coulihan goal in the fourth minute. Heather Stainbrook from midfield. To right back, Beeston. Beeston playing it long for Carter. Too heavy. Jelilich tracks down with London Miller applying some pressure. Back pass goes to the keeper, Cassidy Smith. Cass coming in two today with a save percentage of 73.8, a 1.61 goals against average. BYU's conceded goals in all games but one this year. Had a shutout in Columbia at Mizzou, but that's it. Every other game, the opponents scored at least one. UVU yet to score in this one. Jamie Shepard at holding mid. 
in the center circle. Sun shining here at Southfield. Cool but pleasant. Much more so than it was here Saturday when snowfall prompted an early morning snow removal maneuver before the game could be kicked off between BYU and Santa Clara. Bella Foligno at the center circle. Lays off Shepard at the halfway line. Jamie plays Grace Johnson. Johnson into the attacking half. Pinches up. Plays ahead to Coulihan. Coulihan. A pass on the wing to Olivia Smith. Olivia Smith into the attacking third. Last touch too heavy over the end line goal kick for Utah Valley. BYU women's soccer is brought to you today by Smith's. Did you know you can have your groceries waiting to be picked up or better yet dropped off at your front door? It's all done online at smithsfoodanddrug.com or on their app on your phone. Download the Smith's app and save time. Shop online. BYU 1, UVU 0. We're in the 16th minute here at Southfield. Cougars and Wolverines for a sixth time all-time. BYU owns the series 5-0. Combined scoreline was 9-1 coming in two today. You can make that 10-1 with today's goal. Jenna Shepard at the halfway line. Plays a direct ball long and left. Reaches its intended target. That's Brockbank. A lead ball for Stainbrook, and Stainbrook tries a... 30-yard shot that's not even close to frame. It goes well wide left, and a goal kick for Smith now in the 17th minute. Michaela Coulihan, reigning WCC Player of the Year, making her 59th start in her 61st game today. And it's goals in back-to-back-to-back games for Kayla. Penalty kick markers in each of the last two games played, and in the run of play from 25-plus yards straight away, a right-footed blast inside the left post in the fourth minute. Too well struck for the keeper to get to, and BYU gets out to a 1-0 lead. Brooke Hale slides the ball ahead to Olivia Wade. Olivia Wade pokes it for Foligno. Foligno takes a little bit of contact in the area. The ball rolls over the end line in the process. It'll be a goal kick as Foligno... Was there a flag up on the far side on that one? There may have been. So she took that bump with the offside flag going up at the far side. So offside number two against BYU. And we have a UVU player down. That's Nicole Ray, I believe, on the far side of the park. Trainer's out. So the clock has stopped here. Uh, 18 minutes in. 27.53 remain on the first half clock. Wolverine player down. The freshman from Lone Peak High School, Nicole Ray. The five foot four rookie has done well in her first year. Two goals and two assists. Those two goals coming in seven shots on goal, and one of her two goals was a game winner for UVU. The Wolverines coming in two today with a record of 6-3-2, and 5-2-1 two, two and one in conference play, and 17 goals for, six against before today. That's now 17 and 7 with the BYU marker. We're going to see a sub with Ray having to limp off the pitch. So Coach Chris LeMay is going to go to his bench with a player coming off early. He'll be bringing in Anna Pickering. So Pickering, the Maple Mountain High School product, is subbing in for Nicole Ray. This is an injury stoppage and a sub here in the 18th minute. BYU 1 and UVU no score. BYU Athletics would like to recognize Utah Community Credit Union for sponsoring tonight's and today's UCCU crosstown clash between BYU and UVU. UCCU, love where you bank. It is the UCCU crosstown clash. And uh, go to my Twitter feed today, at Greg Rubel, and you can see my game ball giveaway tweet. If you just simply repost that tweet, picturing today's signed game ball, you may win that game ball signed by the BYU women's soccer team. So go to my Twitter feed and check for the UCCU game ball giveaway today. There's the whistle. A restart play with a kick at the top of the 18 from former Zags keeper, current Wolverines netminder Isabel jones Da, the 5'10 senior. Blasts away with her right foot. Puts it into the Wolverines attacking half. A bump in the back by Olivia Smith. It'll be BYU's first foul of the match. As she just ran up into and body checked to the ground. Sadie Brockbank. Brockbank, a little worse for wear. And uh, we're going to see an injury stoppage as Brockbank was hit, and I think she's bleeding. So I think when she got clipped, 
She got uh, bleeding from the nose right now. So Brockbank's got blood all over her hands and part of her face as she comes off to get to be tended to. So a couple of quick injury stoppages here in the uh, first half or in the 18th minute as Brockbank was fouled moments ago by Olivia Smith. And as a result of that foul, a nosebleed for Sadie Brockbank. So Brockbank comes to the team area, the Olympus High School product. So she's worse, used to wearing green. And Wolverine's colors today are black with fluorescent green letters and numerals. And another injury replacement. So as Brockbank leaves to be tended to, Cassidy McCormick will check in. So a couple of injury replacements in the first half here for Utah Valley. BYU leads the match by a score of 1-0. And we've stopped the clock twice for injury here in the first half. Today's referee is Brad Jensen. AR number one is Sergio Navas. And the second AR is Bennett Savage. Cassidy Smith given the ball for the restart. Rolls it out to her back line. Grace Johnson approaches the halfway line. A toe poke to Coolahan. She was well covered, won the ball for a moment, but ends up playing into touch at the far sideline for a UVU throw. Just well covered was Coolahan there, and they made her the target of the pass, and it was too hard to handle. So UVU on the dispossess. Cassidy McCormick just checked in to replace Sadie Brockbank. Plays to midfield. Some high-pressure intercept work by Michaela Coolahan to Michaela E. Call. Kayla playing a long ball for Tucker. Jenna Shepard got to it first. She falls down. Tucker's away. Numbers into the area. Tucker gets across but caught by Isabel Jones-Daw. Nice job by Cam to give BYU a shot there in the attacking 18, but that cross was angled such that Jones-Daw could make a clean catch at her near post. Juliana Carter past the halfway line. Plays it wide right for Pickering. Pickering and Miller in the vicinity. Pickering coming into the 18. Plays a shot to the far post and played off the line and off a deflection. It's in. Utah Valley has even the score in the 19th minute. And that is against the run of play. It's a quick counter. It was a cross that came from the right and off a deflected ball after being played off the line. UVU finishes inside the six and ties the game at one. And so BYU played well to get the 1-0 lead. But the Wolverines do equalize. We'll get to the goal scorer in a second. We're in the 19th minute. And so just after the injury substitution, Wolverines played a wide right ball, and there were two players in the vicinity for the Wolverines. Either could have handled it as McKaylee Call subs out. That's his Zions Bank substitution. Brought to you by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Rachel McCarthy checks in for McKaylee Call. They've yet to award the goal to a UVU player, so we'll get that identification as soon as it is made. We're going to give it to Stainbrook. Heather Stainbrook scores, and that's her second goal of the year. So the goal to Stainbrook, and we're tied at one here in the 19th. Some work to do for BYU. And these games against UVU are rarely runaways. Uh, of the games BYU's won, three of the five have been one nil decisions. Largest margin of victory was 3-0 in 2017, so things rarely get away from Utah Valley. And now they've squared the match. A goal coming in the 19th by Heather Stainbrook. 1-1 our score. The far side throw in for BYU. Some pressure on the Cougs now. Took a 1-0 lead nice and early. BYU has scored in the fifth minute and the fourth minute of the last two matches, but they've seen the opponent score the next goal. Stainbrook at the halfway line. Plays to McCormick. She's dispossessed by Smith. Smith centrally Coolahan. Michaela Coolahan plays a 20-yard ball to Felino. Ball hopped on Bella, so she has to lay it off to the back line to Hale. Hale plays it long and left. Josie Jelilich and Rachel McCarthy giving chase. McCarthy latches onto it at the end line, played into touch, and last touch by BYU. So a Utah Valley throw in the 21st minute. BYU 1, UVU 1. Cougars score in the fourth. And the Wolverines have equalized in, they officially say, the 19th minute. And it was Heather Stainbrook off a ball that was played off the line by BYU initially and then off a deflection. The ball fell to Stainbrook, and she scores. London Miller plays it for Pickering. The ball bouncing to the head of Grace Johnson. The backliner stabs it away from Pickering and plays toward the near touchline. Grace Johnson 
plays it down the sideline, stays in play. Chris LeMay said it went over the sideline, and the official agrees now. So he now calls for a Utah Valley throw. So that arcing ball down the near touchline did cross in the air over the sideline. That's how the AR adjudicated, and it'll be a throw for Utah Valley well back into the Cougars' defensive half. We're in the 21st minute, BYU 1 and Utah Valley 1. Michaela Coulihan's opener is matched by Heather Stainbrook. We're going to see three more subs checking in for BYU here shortly. Kendall Peterson, Brecken Mozingo, and Leveni Vaca all soon to enter for the Cougs. Throw in Beeston. Bounces it to Pickering. Ball played away from Pickering by Felino. A flick on by Jenna Shepard to her backline mate Bushman. Bushman has to back pass to the keeper. Two Cougars on pressure against Isabel jones Dosh. She releases to Jenna Shepard. Shepard's pass intercepted by Felino. Felino volleys it. Wanted McCarthy to run to it, but McCarthy was coming back the other way, so a giveaway for BYU to the Wolverines keeper, Jones Daw. 22nd minute. Almost halfway done here in half number one. One, one, our score. BYU scored first. Wolverines have equalized in the 19th. Brooke Hale backtracking. Plays it down the near sideline for Felino. Off Felino, out of bounds, into touch. UVU will throw. Three subs awaiting to enter for Coach Jen Rockwood. Jen, 400 wins for her BYU career. She got that 400th win at LMU 10 days ago. Rachel McCarthy at the halfway line. Blasts the ball. Targeted for Olivia Wade. Olivia Wade's got a run to get to it and does so at the attacking right flag. Sizes it up. Stops it. Rolls it. Plays a right-footed cross that's over the goal line. It'll be a goal kick for UBU. We're halfway through half number one. And here come those Zions Bank substitutions for banking that helps you game plan for life and tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Vaca, Peterson, Mozingo in. Jelilich, Johnson, and Felino will check out for BYU. A sunshiny day. Temperatures in the 60s, but windy. The wind slacking somewhat. The corner flag still blowing a bit more than the uh, American flag on the east side of the pitch as Isabel Jones Dow will place the ball and get ready to goal kick away. Sadie Brockbank who left with that uh, nosebleed is still being tended to on the sideline. Gauze up her nostrils. We'll see when she re-enters. A step up by Olivia Wade to settle down a high ball. Plays it to Shepard laterally. Jamie Shepard at 35 yards. Gets to 30. Gets to 20. Plays it through for Mozingo. Mozingo can only stretch out, lunge to it and play it over the goal line wide of the frame for a goal kick for UVU here in the 24th minute. BYU 1, Utah Valley 1. That is our score after goals from Michaela Coulihan in the 4th and Heather Stainbrook unassisted in the 19th. And the Cougars were playing with fire in the build-up to the Stainbrook goal and they ultimately got burned. And just a lost assignment for BYU down that right wing for UVU as two players in position to play across. One of them did, and after being played off the line, the Cougars couldn't handle that ball ping-ponging around the six, and it was finished by Stainbrook. Chested down by Michaela Coulihan on a throw for BYU. Now a loose ball battle won by the Wolverines by Brianna Eaves in the midfield. She plays Trip, Trip, and Wade collide. Amber Tripp regains the ball at the far touch line. Played off of Olivia Smith out for a UVU throw. So Utah Valley throwing here in the 25th minute. Of a match tied at one. They're in the attacking half, and their entire spirit is picked up. I've seen film of UVU where they look kind of slow, and, and, the, and, and the pace of this game helps, and their energy is just really accelerated. The goals help them even more so. It's a spirited UVU team right now. Mazingo lays off Shepard. Shepard, Hale. Hale plays Smith, the keeper. And then a misplay by Cassidy Smith. Just blasted it into touch. So the Cougars struggling for sharpness right now after taking the early lead. Thrown into Beeston. Beeston, a swing on it. Deflected off of Shepard's body. And Cassidy Smith's got to rescue the ball at the top of her goal box. So the ball lay loose there. And... Situation that seemed kind of innocuous turned into a semi-dangerous situation for BYU. 
Ashton Johnson soon to check in for BYU. Foul on the Cougar defensive half. As Olivia Smith is upended, foul against the Wolverines. Foul number three for UVU to two for BYU. Cougs give it away in their defensive third, stepping up London Miller. A 1-2 play to the top of the 18. Crossing to the top of the 18, putting a shot on frame is Pickering, and it's one hopped to Cassidy Smith. Just a given away ball by BYU, and UVU created a shot out of it. The UVU bench is energized as BYU's just making life difficult for themselves right now. Kendall Peterson dispossessed. Wheeling away is London Miller, and she's fouled by Peterson. So Peterson is called for BYU's third foul of the match. And a restart for Utah Valley, 50 yards away. Utah Valley feels like they're right in this match, and of course the score says they are as well. But uh, this is not a match BYU is running away with at this point by any stretch after an early goal to go up 1-0. Pickering lays off Miller. Miller, right-footed cross from the wide right. Played out of the 18 by BYU, but to Carter. Carter's shot is blocked. Deflected toward the end line. I think last touch by BYU for a corner. It'll be a Utah Valley corner kick here in the 27th minute. BYU won, Utah Valley won. The Wolverines get a corner from the attacking right flag here at Southfield. London Miller is in position for the corner. She's there with Grace Beeston. We'll see who decides to take and who might might become a short option for UVU. So Beeston lining it up. Blasts the corner to the far post, far side of the 18. Off a UVU leg and rolls toward the keeper, Cass Smith. She jumps on it. And we'll get ready to play away. 28th minute, BYU 1, Utah Valley 1 is our score. A right wing chase down on the defensive left by Heather Stainbrook. Stainbrook, the goal scorer for Utah Valley. Ball played into the supporters area. And BYU sub finally does check in. Ashton Brockbank Johnson enters for BYU. So Ashton in for Olivia Wade. Zions Bank substitution presented by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you and a Utah Valley player is down and just, I think, an equipment issue, just retying a shoe there is Jenna Shepard. So 1-1 our score. We're in the 29th. And a throw in for BYU at the far touch line. Off of Jamie Shepard, sister of Jenna. Bodies collide. Bodies to ground. Play on, says the official Brad Evans. Brad Jensen, beg your pardon, is today's referee. A giveaway for BYU as they play right to UVU's back line. UVU plays far touch line. A ball volleyed out of the air. Nicely done at the far sideline. A dispossessed by BYU. And the Cougs have the ball now in the attacking half. At the halfway line, Shepard's going to lay off to Vaca. Laveni Vaca skies the ball in the vicinity of McCarthy. Rebounds to Coulihan. Coulihan straight away at 40 yards. Plays it wide left. A lead ball for Kendall Peterson. Petey comes to it near touch line. She stood up. Tackled. Ball out off of London Miller. BYU throw. We're in the 29th. BYU 1, Utah Valley 1. Cougars scoring in the 4th. Michaela Coulihan, Wolverines in the 19th. Heather Stainbrook off a scramble in the BYU goal box. Sadie Brockbank will re-enter after her nosebleed. And is the referee pointing to the spot as McCarthy was pulled down off the throw-in in the area? I believe he is. In the 30th minute, McCarthy tried to take that ball in the 18. I think she was brought down. And they're going to place the ball at the spot. So the Cougars get a penalty here in the 30th. And Michaela Coulihan, who has scored penalty kick goals in back-to-back games, tries to make it three in a row for her second goal of this game. So Rachel McCarthy forcing the action, pulled down, penalty awarded, ball on the spot, and the right footer Coulihan approaches. We wait for the whistle here in the 30th minute. BYU for the go-ahead. Coulihan will step to take. The whistle, the approach, right foot, left post, and a goal for Michaela Coulihan. And the Cougs take the lead 2-1 in the 30th. So for Michaela Coulihan, that's career goal number 31 for the career. Second of this game, she gets the first half brace and seven goals on the year. So Michaela scoring in the fourth minute and now the 30th minute. Her first two PK goals were scored inside the right post. This time she goes left post with her right foot. And the Cougs go up 2-1 to one 
30 minutes in. Rachel McCarthy can do so much damage for you even when she's not the one scoring. She was the one who forced the foul. She was brought down, kind of yanked down left side of the penalty area. And Brad Jensen gave the Cougars the shot from the spot. And it was Michaela on the dot, making no doubt. And a 2-1 lead. BYU kicks into touch at the far sidelines. Uh, Sadie Brockbank will re-enter for UVU. Cooks 2 and Wolverines 1 in the 30th minute. So Brockbank is in, and she'll be checking out Cassidy McCormick. So McCormick will be exiting here. And a throw in for Utah Valley at the far touch line. The ball hopped into the Wolverines at the left side of the 18. They play off the Cougars for a corner kick. So Utah Valley winning its second corner of the first half. The corners are even two apiece coming into today's match. BYU and its opponents had the exact same number of corners. And in this match, the Cougars and the Wolverines have the same number of corners, two apiece. So attacking left flag for Utah Valley. Stainbrook and Tripp will be in the vicinity. We'll see how they choose to play this as McCarthy will come out to mark Tripp. Stainbrook will play it just over crossbar height to the top of the six. Bodies elevate. Falls to the feet of a Wolverine, and she's brought down on the right side of the area. Brecken Mazingo tackled the player. No call there. And now a Utah Valley foul is called, and it'll be a BYU free kick the other way. Had Mozingo been called for the foul in the defensive 18, that was going to be a penalty the other way, and that's what the Wolverine bench was calling for on the contact from Mozingo. We're in the 31st minute, BYU 2, and Utah Valley 1. It was a play on, and the Cougars possess on the back line. Olivia Smith, pressured by Tripp, gives it away on that right wing to Cam Tucker. Tucker racing toward the center part of the park. Toe pokes it to Coulihan. Michaela in the 18, puts a shot on frame, blocked by Isabel jones Daw, and the Wolverines play loose. Not all the way out. Top of the 18 now clear to BYU. Mozingo at the top of the area. Putting it to her right foot. She shoots and a diving save made by Isabel jones Daw. The rebound lay loose and played into touch by UVU. Nice beat of pressure there from BYU. 32nd minute. Cooks putting the heat back on a little more so as Daviana Vaca will check in. Davi is into the match. Playing up top for Cam Tucker. Cam Tucker creating there for BYU. 2-1 our score. BYU on top of Utah Valley. Two Michaela Coulihan goals. A brace for Kayla in the fourth during the run of play. And in the 30th on a PK. Throw in for BYU. Near sideline. And Rachel McCarthy with her throws can get it into the area. Slight delay here as Coach Chris LeMay is trying to get a substitute in for Utah Valley. Okay, Cassidy McCormick is going to re-enter here for Utah Valley, replacing London Miller. Cassidy McCormick. So 2-1 our score, BYU leading UVU. Rachel McCarthy throw from the near touch line, attacking third for BYU. Thirty-second minute. Hops it to Peterson. Peterson chips it into the area. A diving header, defensive header out by Utah Valley, but to the boot of Mozingo. Mozingo stops it, puts it to her right, crosses the top of the penalty arc, intercepted by Eves. Eves ahead Pickering. Pickering plays it ahead for Carter. Juliana Carter on the near touch line. Back lines it to Beeston. Beeston skies it down the right wing. McCormick and Pickering in the vicinity. And it's off of Pickering. They say last touch by BYU. I think it's the wrong call as the throw in off the official's foot puts it back into play. And this is with 33 minutes almost gone here in the first half. Substitution will be brought in. So Brianna Eves will exit. And entering the match, Brianna DeWall. First action of the season, I believe, for the Alta High School product, DeWall. UVU in the attacking half. Wolverines trail now 2-1. Michaela Coulihan scoring from the spot for her third straight game. 
and BYU is now three for three on PKs, all from Kayla, after the Cougars had allowed three of three penalty kicks before they got their first of the season. So now three taken against and scored, three taken for and scored this year. We're in the 33rd minute, BYU 2, Utah Valley 1. Wolverines throw. Leveni Vaca tracking it down on the back line. It's a loose ball battle. Wolverines take away. Play laterally. They're in BYU's defen- uh, defensive half right now. Amber Tripp down that left wing. Racing down the touch line. Ball was played out. She touched out. It'll be a BYU throw in the 34th. So BYU and Utah Valley here today. Sixth time all time. Only the... Uh, it's the fifth of six meetings here in Provo. They played the first ever game at Clyde Field last year in Orem. A match BYU won 1-0 on a late marker from Danica Sarasio. A blast from outside the area. Almost a giveaway for Utah Valley as McCarthy then runs into the keeper. Isabel jones Donna fouls called on Rachel as a result. That's foul number four against BYU to five for Utah Valley. So that ball was almost given away. And in the attempt to chase it down, McCarthy ran into the keeper. And the official is now warning, although not with a card, BYU's forward, Rachel McCarthy. So she is called for the foul. And so for Rachel, that's foul number nine on the year. She's pretty active. And now she's having a little longer conversation with the official, Brad Jensen, here in the 35th minute. UVU, just one loss in their last six matches, but winless in their last two matches. They went 0-1-1 against Cal Baptist at home last week. They do have four away wins. Florida Atlantic, Grand Canyon, and two at Utah, or at the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Offside flag is up against Utah Valley, their first offside flag of the match. BYU restarts. UVU will be at Dixie State on Saturday. BYU will play at Pacific on Saturday afternoon. No radio for that one. Jamie Shepard now into the attacking half for BYU. Plays McCarthy. McCarthy. Plays a 1-2 with Jamie. Back to Rachel McCarthy. Ball ricocheted away from McCarthy. The ball is loose in the 18. Played toward the touch line. Tracked down by Mozingo. Brecken Mozingo toward the end line. Trying to get a left-footed cross. Pokes it toward the top of the 6. Rolls all the way to the top of the 18. Where Coolahan latches onto it at 25 yards. Right side. Kayla racing past Amber Tripp. Gets into the penalty area. Plays it wide right. And the flag is up offside again. So third offside flag up against BYU here in the 36th minute. BYU leading UVU by a score of 2-1. to one. Coolahan scoring in the 5th, rather the 4th and the 30th. For her 30th and 31st career goals, 6th and 7th of this season. And between those two Coolahan markers, they give the goal. They changed the goal, by the way, to Cassidy McCormick. They initially gave the goal to Stainbrook, and they changed the goal to McCormick in the 19th minute. So Cassidy McCormick in the 6th off a bit of a deflection scramble situation. Made the score 1-1. Coolahan put BYU back in front 2-1 on the PK. Mozingo and Hale play the 1-2. It's broken up. Carthy ends up with it on the re- a deflection. The play is Johnson. Johnson, Coolahan. Coolahan's gone all the way here in the first half. Michaela Coolahan with shadows now at south field. Plays it wide left for Mozingo. Into the area, to the end line. A, one cr- a one-touch cross by Mozingo. Played into the sixth and blasted clear by the Wolverines into touch for a BYU throw in the 37th. So Cougs will throw with uh, Kendall Peterson to do the honors on the near touch line. Plays it to the boot of McCarthy. A volley back to Peterson. Peterson will play it to the far post. Headed up in the air by the Wolverines. Knotted down by the Wolverines and cleared by Utah Valley with Sadie Brockbank. Sadie Brockbank starts a counter for the Wolverines at the halfway line. She has a teammate calling for it on the wide right part of the park. It won't get there yet. They lay off and now play ahead to trip. A run-up intercept there by Olivia Smith. Smith into the attacking half for BYU. She's tackled, dispossessed, and now Wolverines counter again. A 3v3 coming the other way. Wolverines coming down the left flank. Slow the ball. The ball's played laterally and now flipping the pitch from left to right off the foot of Hale. Bounces towards Smith, makes a catch in the sixth, and rolls out for the Cougs to start from the back with Kendall Peterson working up left back in the 38th minute. BYU 2, UVU 1. Abby Cotter will soon come in for BYU. The ball passed down the left flank to Mozingo. Mozingo gets around her defender but can't catch back up to the ball and then 
She is dispossessed, and the Cougars attacking 18. Wolverines come the other way. Jenna Shepard, tracked down by Coulihan, releases the ball off the head of Leveni Vaca, and off the deflection, the ball's played centrally. Pickering, Pickering shoots in wide right, but the flag was up on UVU on the near sideline. Offside flag number two to UVU, to three for BYU. And that took the sting out of a quick counter from the Wolverines. So the shot was wide right, but just a little heavy on that run. That was a little better time. That flag stays down, and the Wolverines would have had a great chance to equalize. So back and forth first half here as Vaca plays Johnson. Ashton Johnson over the halfway line. Plays a short ball right to Shepard. Jamie Shepard now at 30 yards. Looking at her options, plays Daviana Vaca at right wing. The layoff back to Jamie Shepard. Shepard tees up Ashton Johnson at 30 yards. Gets it to 20 yards and lost the ball on her last touch. She gave it away to UVU's back line, and now the Wolverines build from back to front. Stainbrook. Wide right, Carter at right back. Layoff, Beeston. Beeston, Carter. Centrally, Stainbrook. Stainbrook. Plays it into the attacking half. Intercepted there by Brooke Hale. Plays ahead to Coulihan. Coulihan starts the counter for BYU. Coulihan down the middle, racing past her mark, gets to the top of the penalty arc, and plays McCarthy at the top of the 18. A ricocheted ball back to Coulihan in the 40th minute. Michaela pressured, releases it to Shepard. Shepard back lines it to Hale at the halfway line. Hale, Peterson left back. Peterson centrally, Shepard at holding mid. Facing goal at 40. Place at the top of the 18, pass intercepted, but back to Shepard. Shepard back to goal, plays halfway line, Hale again. Hale now, pinches up, gets into the attacking half, attacking third. Plays laterally, Coulihan, slow ball, picked off, ricochet, shot and wide left on the shot by Ashton Johnson. In the 40th, substitutions. And for BYU checking in, Abby Cotter, Zions Bank substitution, brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. Cotter is in. And Jamie Shepard is out, exiting for Utah Valley. Amber Tripp, one of two to leave for the Wolverines. Lily Haskins is in the contest, one of two subs to enter for Utah Valley, the other. As the ball is played near side, Beeston will track down and play her back line. It'll roll all the way to her keeper. Keeper will play away with one foot. The other sub to come in was Nicole Olanda for Utah Valley. In the center circle, collision of boots and balls as a loose ball is ricocheted to Stainbrook. She plays Pickering and Brockbank wide left. Cougars get to the ball, and DeWall tracks down for Utah Valley. Brianna DeWall centrally to Brockbank, picked off by Leveni Vaca. She backtracks towards her own end line. Olanda gets into her, and then off of Leveni Vaca for a Utah Valley corner here in the 42nd. The girls were playing backward there and ultimately over their own end line for a Utah Valley corner. Substitution for Utah Valley. Brenna Crow is in, exiting as Grace Beeston on the back line. So attacking left flag corner for Utah Valley. Ball played into the six, blasted out by BYU. Corner kick was taken by Cassidy McCormick. And the Cougars simply relieved the pressure, play a long ball into the Wolverines' defensive half. Just one Wolverine there on that side of the pitch. It's Crow, comes toward the halfway line, traverses the halfway line. Interception by BYU. Olivia Smith comes centrally, got past Cotter, given away by Abby. And now UVU a quick counter the other way. 3v4. Down the left side come the Wolverines, positioning for a right-footed shot. Shot taken, parried wide by Cassidy Smith on the blast by Brockbank. It stays in, and the Wolverines track down near the end line. It went out, actually, to be a corner for UVU at the attacking right flag. They quickly start, and they go short on the right corner. Cross comes in from the right, bounces toward the top of the 18. Cleared by BYU, swung on there. Played high in the air on the ball by Stainbrook, and Coach Chris LeMay wanting a foul in the area was not called. BYU coming the other way. Rachel McCarthy on the counter. Lost control. Far touch line. Hey, you kidding me? 
Wolverine coaches upset at a couple of calls, not going their way in their attacking 18 in the latter part of the first half here. BYU 2 and Utah Valley 1 in the 43rd minute. Michaela Coolahan a brace in the first half. Run of play and PK for Kayla. Kayla now has the ball and races into the attacking half, attacking third, dribbling past defender, slaloming into the attacking third. Michaela plays it wide right and held up there was Vaca. She wanted to send Vaca through, and Vaca wasn't making her run, and so the pass goes nowhere but to the keeper. So in the 44th minute of the match, leads BYU, BYU leads 2-1. to one. Isabel jones Da blasts into the Wolverines' attacking half, tracking it down there, Leveni Vaca, but getting to it first is Brockbank, forcing Vaca off the deflection to simply play into touch. The Cougs have been pressured here. I'd say that uh, Utah Valley's had uh, maybe, you know, a 60-40 run of play feel for the last 10 minutes. Shot coming from the left, blocked there by Olivia Smith. And off the deflection, Coulihan. Coulihan running toward the halfway line. Her pass gets away from her, given away to UVU's back line. Bushman chips it off the boot of Hale, volleyed out of the air to Cotter. Cotter lays off Coulihan ahead to McCarthy. Rachel McCarthy starts her run into the attacking half. Gets it to 30 yards, to 20 yards, to the top of the area, into the area. Plays it wide right and just caught. Diving to her left. Isabel jones makes the save off the McCarthy run and blast. Not a ton on it from the top of the left side of the area. Played it to the right post. And jones equal to the task there. 40 seconds remain here in the first half. BYU 2 and Utah Valley 1. Coulihan. Plays a 30-yard ball left for McCarthy. McCarthy racing toward the end line to track it down. Does get it before it goes over the chalk on the goal line. Toe pokes to Peterson with 30 yards. From 30 yards with 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Petey coming left. Tripped up. Still running with the ball. Runs into contact. Over over the uh, touch line. And a Utah Valley throw. That may do it for the first half here. Ten seconds to go Ten in half number one. And BYU 2, eight, UVU 1 should seven, be our halftime score. Six, Utah Valley will five, get a throw, but they four, may not even choose to reenter the play with it. Two, and that will do it. We are through 45 minutes here at Southfield. BYU 2 and Utah Valley 1 is our score. We'll come back with a halftime recap after this on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.